Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Conway. Today, we're gonna to be discussing the latest with stimulus checks, talking about the status of the $600 payment, whether or not you've received it, what you can do in order to receive it, and what you can expect. The status with the $2,000 stimulus check proposal, and breaking news, that is right back on the table, and it's very likely to pass. We're gonna be talking about that later on. And a big warning for all of you out there who are applying for unemployment insurance, the EIDL grant, or are waiting on your stimulus check, we're gonna be breaking that all down in this video. With that being said, my name is Kevin Conway. I make stimulus news update videos and other personal finance videos all the time. So subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Like this video and share it with everybody so it spreads out there, it really helps the channel. I would really appreciate if you did that. With that being said, let's get right into the latest on the first stimulus check that you're gonna be receiving, the $600 payment that is uh, being processed right now for millions of Americans. What is the status for you? If you've not received your stimulus check, if you've not received it yet, you can use the Get My Payment tool. I have a link in the description. It goes directly to the IRS website. If you go there, you can type in your information and see when you're gonna get your stimulus check. Now, for all of you out there, you are gonna receive this stimulus check or you are not gonna receive it and get it on a tax credit basis when you file your taxes. The deadline for which you will receive that physical check is going to be January 15th of this month. And if you use the Get My Payment tool and it says payment status number two dash not available, payment status number two dash not available, if you receive that message, you will not be receiving the stimulus check in your bank account. Rather, you will have to file your taxes in order to get credit for that amount. You're gonna use the recovery rebate credit on your 2020 tax return. The IRS actually said, because of the speed at which the IRS issued the second round of payments, some payments may have not been sent to an account, uh, they, they, they may have been sent to an account that may have been closed or is no longer active. So that's what happened with a lot of additional people as well. If you've used H&R Block or you've used TurboTax, Jackson Hewitt, any of those tax preparation software companies, you may be also experiencing a delay. These tax prep companies set up temporary accounts for you when you file your taxes in order to get the refund and deduct out any fees that you owe them and then they process it to you. But after you file your taxes, these accounts are inactive. And so what happened is the IRS sent the money to those accounts and they're inactive. And so now they're being kicked back to the IRS and then the IRS is going to go and send them out again and they're either gonna send them in the mail or they're gonna to try to send them to an account that you have on file. So that's what is delaying it for so many people out there. I myself have actually looked online. I use TurboTax, I paid for TurboTax last time that I filed my taxes and I've been delayed. I haven't received the stimulus check yet and it is expected that I will receive it today according to the Get My Payment tool. We'll see if it happens. If you've received it or you haven't received the stimulus check, comment below, let me know the status of your stimulus check and whether or not you think that's good enough. Is it $600 good enough? Or do you wanna see $2,000 or more? And with that being said, let's talk about the status of the $2,000 stimulus check. What's really interesting is last night, we had the Georgia Senate races. The two Republicans were up against the two uh, Democrat challengers. And the reason why that matters so much, as many of you know, is because if the Democrats took both, they need to take both of those seats, they would gain control of the Senate because the Senate would be then split 50-50 and uh, uh, Kamala Harris would be the deciding vote in breaking the Senate ties and therefore the Democrats would have control of the Senate on a going forward basis, giving them unified control in the House, the Senate and the presidency and allowing them to pass basically any legislation that they want on stimulus. They could pass massive bills, they could pass more stimulus checks, they could pass more unemployment insurance, all of that now is likely to be the case because we know that Warnock actually unseated uh, Kelly Loeffler last night and it, the race was called, therefore giving the Democrats one of those two Senate seats. And it looks right now like John Ossoff is going to take down David Perdue and also give the Democrats that second seat. The reason why that is important is not only because of what we all know, the Democrats will then have control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency, but because President-elect Joe Biden specifically said last week he will give $2,000 stimulus checks if the Democrats take that Georgia Senate races. Both of those races, if you got both those races, 
they would be given the $2,000 stimulus checks. Now, what's interesting is they got both those races, so let's see if it actually happens. That is exactly what President-elect Joe Biden said. The $2,000 stimulus checks does have support on the Democrat and Republican side, as we just saw with all the debate. And now that they will likely have control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency, expect that $2,000 stimulus check. Now, the thing that we don't really know for sure is whether or not that $2,000 will be on top of the $600 and the $1,200 that we've already received, or it'll be on a net basis. Therefore, meaning $2,000 minus that $600 minus the $1,200, leaving you with just an additional $200 check. I doubt it's that. I think it's more likely that the $600 check will be plus up to $200, uh, plus up to $2,000, meaning they'll give an additional $1,400 stimulus check. But we don't really know right now. There's not any legislation pending right now on the $2,000 bill, simply because we have a brand new Congress. So once we do know that, once we do have the bill, I'm gonna be breaking it all down for you, letting you know step-by-step -step exactly when to receive, when to expect to receive that $2,000 check, what you need to do in order to qualify and giving you the latest on it. So subscribe to the channel as soon as it breaks. I'm gonna be breaking it down just for you. What's interesting is that the public supports more stimulus. 75% of Americans support an additional stimulus check and more than half support an amount $2,000 or greater, which is really, really amazing and not that surprising because so many people are hurting out there and they need that extra cash. So it seems to be wildly popular. There's not a lot of political issues that get 75% support. So I expect there to be another round of stimulus. Additionally, I highly anticipate that the unemployment insurance benefits are also gonna be increased and extended. I also think we're gonna see additional monies for state and local governments and a lot of smaller things as well. All of that is probably gonna come in the next month or so. We're gonna see bills come out in the next month or so, and we're gonna know a lot more very, very soon. With that being said, I do wanna highlight one additional thing, one very concerning thing to me, as I've seen on my channel, unfortunately, as is always the case, whenever there is a program that gives money out or whenever there's something that benefits people, some unfortunate people will try to scam people out of their money. That's what I've actually seen in my comment section. You probably have too. There's all these accounts commenting that such and such on Instagram helped them get the EIDL grant very quickly or the $2,000 check quickly or the unemployment insurance quickly or such and such at this gmail.com will also help you process your application or they can help you. Never, ever, ever give information to those people. Immediately flag them. That is a scam. They're trying to take your money. In fact, I've seen people impersonate me with my name and my, uh, my you know, thumbnail and actually say, hey, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm willing to help you email me at this address. Don't do that, never do that. Only go to the government websites, sba.gov, irs.gov, your state unemployment website, like California, you know, edd.california.gov. Those are the websites that matter. Those are the addresses and emails that you should pay attention to. Don't give people information on Instagram. Don't people uh, give people information in the comments. If you are wondering whether or not it's me commenting on it or an impersonator, just click the link, just click their name and you can actually go to their profile. If there's no videos on it and there's no information on it, it's clearly a scam. If it's my channel, well then it's clearly me. So I just wanted to put that out there because it's very concerning and it just really irritates me a lot that people would take advantage of other people. Just be very cognizant of giving your information out online. Furthermore, I'm gonna be breaking down all of your questions you have from EIDL grants, PPP, unemployment insurance, stimulus checks, whatever you want to know in a subsequent video. So comment below with any of the questions that you have. I've gotten tons of them, hundreds of questions from my previous videos and I've tried to respond to as many as I can, but I simply cannot get to all of them. And I'd rather just make a video outlining some of those major questions because oftentimes it's the same question over and over by different people. I'm gonna be making a video where I'm gonna be breaking down all of those questions. And I'm gonna answer them to the best that I can. And so comment below with any of the questions you have on anything. Do you have questions on the EITL grant? Is it a grant? Is it a loan? How do you get it? Do you have to live in a locum area? Do you not? What happens if you got it last time? Any of those questions, comment below. If you have questions on unemployment insurance, do you qualify? When are your benefits gonna certify? Do you get the $300 benefit? What happens if you ran out already? Comment below. Stimulus check questions, comment below. Or you just have any ideas, any additional personal finance questions, also comment below. I'm gonna be making that video here in the next day or two, so be sure to comment below so that I can get your questions answered. With all of that being said, please give a like to this video 
and subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I will see you next time. Thanks.